Welcome back to another product review. And today I'm gonna to take a look at a design your own anime and manga character. Step-by-step -step lessons for creating and drawing unique characters. I got this about a week ago and I got a ton of how to draw books and I should look at them more because I still can't draw and have them. To be honest, I love ordering them. I love going through them, but do I go and practice every day? I don't, I should. But anyway, this is the book, front and back, spine. Let's take a look at this here. First page, got your contents, constructing a character, simplifying forms for gestures and poses, drawing hair, clothing, and accessories, conveying dimension, emotion, and character, pets, chibis, and sidekicks. I don't know if I pronounce this correctly. A lot of these words I'm pronouncing for the first time out loud. There's a lot of words I'm reading, but I'm never pronouncing. Anyway, exercise, design, and draw a character. So we got the intro, constructing a character. The basics of a line. See, the thing is, what I love about these type of books is that I look at them and they're fascinating. I love them, especially when you have comparisons between muscles and form and structure, especially simplifying things like this. It gives me the illusion that if I go through this, that I will actually be able to draw. Now, I don't think I can't. I just have to go and do it every day and practice just like I do it with animation. But for some reason, I haven't really gone into it, but I love stuff like that. When you have really the simplification and showing from different perspectives and how you would approach it. I think what I am missing is definitely being able to visualize in my head, you know, the, the structure, how the bones and the joints and muscles and how all of that is constructed. But I think I just need to practice to be able to visualize everything in 3D in my head, kind of like this, you know, in blocks. I just, I'm not there for me. I don't even know if I could draw this. <laughs> I'm not thinking in three dimensional form and planes, maybe yet. I really need to get into this, but you know, stuff like that is to me just, this will not happen anytime soon, but I love it. Especially stuff like this. I really should start with just blocky shapes, like here, simplifying forms with gestures and poses. It says simplifying, but I would already have a problem with that. So I should really technically go back to basics and just go through these. Sometimes I also get kind of into like a how to start paralysis. Like I have so many books, these are cool, I love it. But am I, you know, I need something that's just this for like 100 pages. I feel like, should I start with this? Is that going to be too advanced for me? So then I end up getting another one and then uh, Never drawing anything. I do love this though. It's fascinating. It's, it's funny how you can draw your folds. I love this, how and where it wrinkle. It's great. I think the presentation is really cool. Lots of cool details here. Stuff like that is neat. Especially since that would be quite a pain in CG if you just want to animate it. But I think that is very cool. And I would love to be able to do it. Now, just like I tell my students, well, you start with the basics, do a bouncing ball, but don't just do a bouncing ball once. You got to go through it and animate that a couple times in a bouncing ball with a tail and you have to squash and stretch and everything. It's kind of the same thing that I am not applying to my drawing practice. I'm not like, oh, I want to do step one and then I want to be able to do this. That's just not quite how this works. And I know this and I should really practicing this visualizing the 3d form in my head so i know that you know this is a three-dimensional form and these are how the forms go around the lines and everything but i'm not even like i'm barely here but i'm not even here this is or this has already more form than uh than i can muster in my in my scribbles it's cute though i do like this there creating a character's backstory it's cute too it's a great little pose and then you got pets Sidekicks, it's awesome, super cute. I mean, I can't even do humans, let alone animals. But yeah, stuff like that, just tubes. I should really just get into this and draw every day. You got your animal form in humans. These are kind of cool though, look at that. Cool hand poses. And then you have your exercise list, what to do and how to proceed. <laughs> like I wouldn't even, it took me years just to get this, I love it. But I thought this is cool. It looks cool. The presentation is cool. 
It's not huge. As you can see, you can page through it fairly quickly, but I think it would be a really cool refresher for some, intro for others, uh, something massively overwhelming for myself. I thought this is a pretty cool one to take a look at it. There you go, design your own characters. That is it. And if you got it, let me know in the comments. Was that helpful? Did you, when you got this, you feel like that's a cool design book, but I prefer another one. Maybe you leave a comment with, hey, if you really want to start learning just general characters, not just, you know, anime characters, like something that's more general to learn the structure and the form, leave me a comment, let me know what would you recommend so that a, a, a complete novice like me could get into practicing drawing and just learning the form and all that stuff. I'm curious, if you draw, let me know, comments, let me know what you, what is your preferred book? How did you get into learning how to draw and all that good stuff? I'm very curious. Hope that was helpful for the page through. Hope you like it, hope you buy it. And that is it from me. Thank you for watching. And if you're still watching, thank you. And uh, maybe you like these and you like other stuff on my channel. So browse through. If you like, you can subscribe. Helps my channel grow. And that is that with the pitch at the end. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next upload.